uh, viewer psychology for you in a heartbeat. Uh, so rawr, we have our footage, and it's really interesting. But um, and that was a really simple thing to do. What, what am I doing on time over here? I'm doing good. So shrink you. Let's go back to our example movie, and we have our footage playing for a while, and then at the very end it fades out, and then we get our coming soon. But since we already know how to do all this stuff, it's going to be a piece of cake. So let's twirl these back down. Let's keep everything organized. Burr, 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 scanning around. And since we changed our comp size, the original video was 20 seconds long, but this one's 15, just to, it saves a lot of time. And it's really unnecessary to have it this long. So we have our f time fighters going through. Going through, let's say at about 13 is where this video is going to start fading out. So let's go back to our footage over here. Hit T for opacity. It's at 100%. We're going to make another keyframe. Click on that. And let's go half a second into it. No, let's go full second into it. So that way, like, it feels like impending doom. And we'll change this to opacity. So now we have an opacity change over us one second for the coming soon. And uh, let's go back to this last keyframe. We're going to start a new text layer. Click on that. Click down on here. Click on your text tool. Click on the comp. And then we're going to put coming soon. And those dots again. Oh, no, no. Let's do an exclamation point. Lots of emotion there. <laughs> and uh, I don't like the way this looks, so let's change it and double click on it. Let's find a really cool, let's find a cool thing. Coming soon, look at that military, military font. And we'll scale it up in here. Oh my gosh, coming soon, look how huge it is. It's almost obnoxious. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go in 15 frames. Let's go half a, half a second in to the fade out for this. Um, right about there, 13, 15, 13 seconds and 15. And on this, we're going to animate the opacity. So we'll toggle that down by hitting the shortcut for T. Click on the stopwatch. And let's change this to zero. And then let's move a full second into the timeline. Uh, excuse me, let's move uh, the half second. So we'll go to the, to the last keyframe that we left on the opacity for the footage. And we'll change the opacity on the text, the coming soon text to 100 that we have this giant coming soon that shows up coming soon and so now we have one second left to play with and uh, at this uh, and then we're gonna scrub to the end if you're not at the end you can always hit end on your keyboard and that's the that's a shortcut to get the heck over there we're gonna change the opacity to zero and let's go a couple of frames prior with the page up button about f let's go seven and we'll change this to 100 so that way there's a I mean to zero so that way there's a really fast transition at the very end wait that didn't happen the way I was thinking <laughs> we'll go back to this last keyframe I'm sorry and then uh, burp, 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 this next keyframe not zero but in fact we want this at 100 <laughs> sorry I'm saying what I didn't want to do so let's do a really quick RAM preview to see what the end looks like coming soon. Very imposing. I like that. Uh, this is actually happening that we don't have enough time for the coming soon. This should be a nicer fade out rather than just shorten it off. So let's take all these frames, which are just our opacity, and let's let's move them. Uh, let's get our scrubber over there at 15, this half second mark, and we'll just scooch them over. Boom. Like that. Because uh, ideally, you want this text to kind of stay with the with the viewer. Whoops. We didn't want that. Let's move this fade, so that way it's a long fade, because we're going to be fading out the music next. Bam. Got that. Let's check my time. Doing well. And now we're going to fiddle around with the sound. Just like that, uh, just like we've been animating all these keyframes on opacity and stuff, we can change, we can animate the, uh, the audio levels. And we'll see this visually in the waveform. Let's, uh, first, let's enable it. And you can see all the crazy music stuff that's going on. So let's go to this point where uh, this this coming soon is fading in and getting ready to fade out. At this right where it's the last place where it's uh, where it's finally showed up. This is where we're going to start tapering down the music. And um, if you just like all the things that are animatable, animatable <laughs> in After Effects, so are the audio levels. So if we click on the stopwatch here, it's at zero decibels. Um, zero decibels is not mute at all. It's just normal, and that's an old 
the old standard, much like the JK is on video standards. The audio standard is zero decibels, is kind of like the middle, and you can always go negative. And a lot of sliders in After Effects can go negative and up to in the thousands, especially for percentage. People don't think of it that way as a thousand percent, but whatever. It's just a number. And we want this to fade out really nice over this long period of time. And, uh, well, not plus 12, in fact. The lowest you can go on an audio is minus 48. And you can see where it did to the waveform. Right there, it's kind of tapering off. So we got the video footage, the coming soon. I'm like, oh my gosh, can't wait to buy it. And then it fades out. So let's hit zero with our audio on for a RAM preview. And we've truncated our work area. Nice little fade out there. Um, I think in general, <laughs> the audio is really loud. So let's shrink that a bit. Let's go to this last keyframe that we did in our audio. Actually, let's go to the home. So we're going to hit home, get over there. We're going to make a keyframe out the audio. But let's bring this down minus 10. I bet that's very appropriate. And let's go to the next keyframe that we made. So we're going to hit K. K, 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 tons of Ks. And let's adjust this, because right now we're on the on the keyframe where we adjusted the audio at first. And we're going to put minus 10 again, because it seemed really loud. Uh, now it's minus 10, and then it's minus 48. So let's give this a really quick, another quick preview. Uh, adjust the work area. Much nicer. Doesn't make your ears bleed or anything. And we've just completed our example video. So we've gotten all the major elements that we did, that we covered in here, and you are ready to render this out. Let's close this, because we, we don't want you polluting our opinions anymore. Example movie. So now we have a 15 second video. So we want to save. We should have been saving earlier, but I'm not very good at saving sometimes, and that's probably why everything crashes on me, and then I cry. Whatever. So we're going to hit save as. And we want to save this project. Uh, let's call it After Effects Demo. We should have been doing this earlier. And what happens when you save a project out is not only does it save uh, your information, such as your keyframes and where they go and stuff, but it also saves out the your your files that you've imported into your project window that you have over here and uh, your compositions, whatever you've created. It, it can get pretty robust in size, but for the most part, it's just a bunch of what's called... Uh, uh, proxy stuff, so it doesn't really save the footage and the win and the and the media with the After Effects project. It'll just make a reference to it. And uh, if you take it, like for example, if you put it on a portable drive and try to open it, like at school or at another computer, it will uh, ask for you to relink these, and there'll be like this really funny looking, you know, broadcast icon that's right there, and you can just relink them um, or find a way to cheat with that. Anyway, so now we're ready to render out our movie. And rendering out is a really easy process. Uh, there's a couple of things that we're going to go over as we um, as we render it out. And what am I doing on time? Let's, let's take a, a quick pause and I'll make another video just for rendering this out.